guys, Marco here, uh, back again with another video. And in today's video, as you saw in the intro, uh, just wanna share some experience that we had uh, last month. Uh, we we attended the event, which is called uh, Blockchain Life, which took place in Dubai. And even the event was only for today's uh, 27 and 28th of last month, but we stayed there for at least 10 days. And the reason why I wanna share with you, we, we, we have done some experiments running uh, the immersion cooling uh, in the UAE, uh, not in Dubai itself, but it uh, was in a different city, which is Abu Dhabi. And uh, we wanted to test the system there and see how it performs, uh, you know, in, in such environment where the temperatures actually were really high, even though we're still like in February, March, uh, the, the test world was done on, on March 3rd, I think, uh, 2nd, sorry. and. Uh, just want to share with you some some experience that we had and also it was very interesting to, to attend and to be one of the sponsors of the event and uh, meeting a lot of people crypto mining enth enthusiasts and it, it was surprising that a lot of people didn't know about immersion cooling so uh, we had a really a wonderful time there and we met a lot of people and uh, you know I, I think we uh, you know introduced the system to a lot of people that didn't know about the existence of this kind of cooling and also I want to share with you what we had the result of what we had uh, installing the system in the UAE and uh, we had some good experience so far so good we haven't done any overclocking as you will see uh, you know in the video that, that we share with you guys but just running the system installing it it took us only one day getting all the parts the plumbing and uh, we took actually the the same unit that we had uh, at the event itself and we took it to a farm which was about 150 kilometers from from uh, from Dubai, and then just after the event, the next day, we start installing the, the whole thing, connecting you know the, the dry cooler, and you know getting the, the miners ready. We even installed the uh, the overclocking power supplies, and also you know we feel the we did the whole thing in one day, which was not bad actually. Uh, that's that's what the advantage when we when you know exactly what, how the system should be installed So I want to make this video to share with you guys You know the results that we get from from running the, the immersion coding at that environment and I uh, hope you enjoyed and we learned something from this and uh, It was also surprising that a lot of people recognized me uh, at the event You know that people were asking they knew they knew me from somewhere, but they couldn't find but you know I uh, at the end, they all they, most people told me that they saw me maybe on YouTube and everything. So I'll let you watch the video, and uh, let's. I, I would. Uh, I'll be back after the video to share with you some some final uh, conclusions. Uh, you, you know, con cons considering running uh, the immersion immersion cooling uh, at uh, you know at the desert uh, basically. So let's watch the video, and I'll be back after the video. So basically, here what we're doing here now is we're gonna try to prepare this. Uh, an immersion tank which is the SX12 but because we're using currently the uh, and my uh, sorry the what's minor M30s plus so we can fit up to 16 units just give you a quick look what we're doing here so Mohammed is working on the miners so what we already installed actually the overclocking power supplies on the top of the uh, the original one here we have the electric fluid here is the dry cooler. We're gonna try to test first with the dry cooler and see how how are the temperatures. We still have another uh, chiller, industrial chiller coming in uh, for 10, 10 HP, uh, 15 HP and 20 HP actually. But we're gonna start with the with the dry cooler first. And as you can see here, we have 16 units already prepared, which we're gonna be installing in the immersion tank today. All these are already ready. So as you can see, we have the extra power supply on top. And we're gonna put the whole thing together. Hopefully today we're gonna be starting it and see how it works. Just to give you an idea how it looks outside here. So we are basically in the UAE, uh, in Abu Dhabi. And as you can see, it's really hot outside. What we're doing here is we're gonna breathe the cable directly from the uh, from the the electric uh, the electricity room, and we're gonna bury the cable under 
underground and we're gonna bring it directly to this room we're gonna be placing the the immersion tank <clears throat> just to give you a quick look outside here this is a large farm and this is the facility we're gonna be using for now for testing and everything okay let's go ahead and uh, finish installing the whole thing and I'll show you guys how how it looks like Alright, so it's, we just finished filling up the tank with, uh, with the miners and connecting the Ethernet cables as well as the power, especially for the power extra power supply because the plug for the extra power supply isn't at the bottom, so we already connect that. But the ones on the top for the original power supply is on the top, so it's easy to connect. As you can see, the tank is perfectly full and We should be dropping the fluid, which is right here, inside, and then connecting the wall, the, the electric wire, which is gonna be here. I'll show you in a moment. So, and connecting our Ethernet cable that brings the internet here, and we should be good to go. Just give you a quick look how it looks when the uh, thing is closed. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, finish the, the, the other things, and uh, give you an update shortly. All right, so we just done the wiring, bringing the power from uh, the power room to the tank itself. This is the cable. So this is a 50, uh, a 50 millimeter cable, has three, four wires inside, because this is a three-phase setup. And as you can see here, the three phase goes direct to the <clears throat> main breaker and the notch hole goes here. And from there, the power is dist distributed to the back side. We also installed the, connect the dry cooler, which I will show you in a minute. And here is the wire coming directly from the room, the power room over there. And dry cooler is sitting here with the pump. So because the pump is a uh, pump on the dry cooler uh, uh, single phase, so they have a different connection here. This is uh, a waterproof. And as you can see here, the dry cooler is sitting here. So next step is to fill up the tank with uh, the electric fluid and should be ready to run it. So the tank is on and running, full of fluid, and you can see all the miners are running at the moment. You can even see the temperature fluid going through the dashboards. And everything is going fine. Just go outside, have a look at the dry cooler. So the dry cooler is here, up and running. And outside here is really hot. You expect there in the, in the desert. You can see all the miners are up and running and uh, the average temperature here is 65 to 70 and at the moment the miners are running on a low hash rate so a normal hash rate and uh, 
we should be uh, trying some uh, overclocking and see how we get from there and then I will give you an update. As for now, everything is running fine and we'll, we'll leave it this way and let it run for a couple hours just to make sure that everything is, uh, is running. So far, no leaks. So, uh, I, th I think, you know, considering what, what, what we experienced in, uh, in Abu Dhabi, which was in the UAE, and I, I think dry coolers are still very effective in terms of cooling, dissipating heat from the, from the miners. Uh, you know, considering the time that we, we've done the test, it's not, you know, the hottest, uh, uh, you know, time in, in the UAE, but we'll be tr still doing, doing more tests uh, in the future. And currently, actually, the guy that was in the video also was, uh, you know, at the event with me, which uh, uh, his name is Mohammed. From he's uh, he's a local from the UAE, and he's uh, he's actually my partner and the, uh, the official distributor for uh, the, for the product in uh, in the UAE and the Middle East in general. And he he's actually not right now working on doing some overclocking, uh, overclicking the units, and see how you know how the uh, immersion tank and the, you know the, the dry cooler will handle that much of heat. The extra heat that is generated by overclocking the miners, but also we considered uh, we considered using uh, you know an industrial chiller, uh, which will control have more control in terms of uh, you know water temperature. So the, the chiller has has control between three degrees to uh, twenty eight degrees Celsius. So we have more control. So at at, at the moment, uh, you know I'm back in China right now, but. You know, my partner is still doing some tests in uh, in the UAE, and so far so good, no problem with the uh, overheating and everything. But we will see after you know after the things get you know after the weather gets hotter, and the, the temperatures will uh, you know exceed forty to forty to forty two degrees above, and we'll see if the, the dry cooler doesn't cannot handle that much of heat. What we we'll do is we're gonna switch from a dry cooler to a, a chiller. And see how how that work and i will i will basically post the updates on on that matter as well so this is good <clears throat> this is as, as good as it gets for dry coolers especially running them at hot i i, I don't consider you know uh, you know running chillers uh, anywhere else except in the middle east because we have uh, we have customers actually running them uh in let's say a tropical uh, tropical weather areas like 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 the, uh, the you know where we locate right now it's not it's it's a subtropical it's not tropical weather but it still gets really hot in summer and also we have customers running them in you know uh, uh, in the, you know in the region here uh, where you know it's a tropical weather uh, and also in the US in Miami uh, we have a few customers also running these uh, immersion tanks and they never had you know any 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 issues with the heating but. You, you we never know so this is an extra you know this is an option where people can consider especially if you like in located in a hot area uh, but just keep in mind that you know chillers consume a lot of electricity because they have you know um, just like an ac compressors to cool water so they consume more electricity so unless you have you have cheap electricity like in, in you know like in the middle east where they have the rate of electricity is really low so they don't they don't really think about the only issue there is cooling the miners so I hope I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I will post uh, I will definitely post more more updates, uh, you know, with overclocking and everything, and see how how it goes. I will see you in the next video.